good morning children i hope you are doing well have a great and pleasant morning today stay safe stay at home take care of your health we are in science subject today chapter number 10 simple machines we have started the revision last class we had the revision of chapter number 9 air now we are having the revision of chapter number 10 simple machines okay this is revision number 2 okay myself kaja munawar your science teacher we are in online class number 10 let us start the today's work <clears throat> exercises of pages 91 and 92 we will revise the exercises okay first one is exercise b fill in the blanks a simple machine uses a single force a simple machine uses a single force the first one the second one a simple machine changes the direction of force to make work easier the simple machine changes the direction of force to make our work easier the third statement is a lever is a simple machine that turns around a fixed point a lever is a simple machine that turns around a fixed point number the fourth one is wheel and barrow is an example of second class lever okay wheel barrow is an example of second class lever the fifth one is less force is needed to move objects with an inclined plane when we use the inclined plane less force is needed to move objects with an inclined plane the sixth one is a screw is used to hold things together a screw is a simple machine which is used to hold the things together the seventh one is a wedge is an example of a simple machine made up of two inclined planes that meet to form a sharp edge so wedge is a simple machine which is made up of two inclined planes shoe laces are a kind of pulley the shoe laces what we are having in your shoes are the kind of pulley uh, simple machine number nine machines that are made up of many parts are called complex machines the machines those who are made up of many parts are called complex machines the tenth one is when the load is between the fulcrum and the effort it is called a second class lever when the load is between fulcrum and the effort the effort it is called the second class lever let us go to the next exercise exercise number c state t for true and f for false statement number one simple machines increase the work false number two a ramp is an example of an inclined plane yes it is true statement a screw is two inclined planes together false it is not a true statement a screw is not a uh, device a simple machine which is made up of two inclined planes okay next number four many complex machines together form a simple machine false statement it is a false statement a wheel barrow has a wheel and an axle arrangement yes true statement a simple machine uses a single force true a wedge is a simple machine with one inclined plane false it is made up of two inclined planes number eight the statement number eight is in the case of lever the closer the fulcrum and the load the lesser is the effort so the uh, the closer the fulcrum and the load the effort will be lesser this is true statement let us move to the next one <coughs> take the correct uh, simple machines the number one is staircase staircase is an example of inclined plane uh, curtain strings it is an example of pulley tip of the drilling machine it is an example of screw knife blade is an example of wedge then a steering wheel is an example of wheel and axle long rod used to move a big rock is lever door knob it's an example of wheel and axle light bulb is an example of a screw let us move to the exercise number a answer the following questions the first one is what is a simple machine how does it make our work easier a simple machine is a machine that uses a single force to do the work and make it easy it makes our work easier by changing the direction of the force increasing the distance and reducing the amount of force this is the answer for the first question number two 
uh, no need of explanation for these answers you might have known that i explained many times during the explanation and during the question answer session also i explained everything okay just i will read go through with me read with me then you can uh, follow this number two name six simple machines giving example of each the six simple machines are levers scissors uh, wheelbarrow fishing rod pulley rope cars lifting the loads incline plane ramp escalators screw cap of the bottle rotor of helicopter wheel and axle car sieving machine wedge saw knife let us move to the third one third one is what is a lever give some examples where levers are used a lever is any simple machine that turns around a fixed point examples are scissors pliers bottle openers nut crackers fishing rod etc so these are the examples so what do you mean by lever this is any simple machine that turns around a fixed point so the examples are scissors, pliers, bottle openers and nutcrackers. How can levers be classified? Give examples of each class of lever. Levers can be classified on the basis of the position of fulcrum, load and effort. The first class lever, the arrangement for first class lever is effort, fulcrum and load. The examples are scissors, claw hammer and pliers. The second class lever, the arrangement for second class lever equal effort, load fulcrum load will be in between effort and fulcrum with the examples are wheelbarrow bottle opener and nutcracker the third one is the third class uh, lever is uh, in third class lever effort will be in between fulcrum and load the examples are eye tongs fishing rod and nail clippers let us move to the fifth one define what are incline planes define write the definitions for incline plane wheel and axle wedge and screw so the definition for incline plane is an in sorry an incline plane is a simple machine with a flat surface with one end higher than the other the example is ramp next one is wheel and axle a simple machine made up of wheel and axle is called the wheel and axle arrangement the axle is the simple rod a small rod into which goes a wheel example is car and sieving machine next wedge a wedge is a simple machine which is made up of two inclined planes these planes meet and form a sharp edge like your knife a wedge is used to split the things apart examples are our knife saw axe these are the examples for wedge it is a simple machine which is made up of two inclined planes next one is screw a screw is an inclined plane that goes around a cylinder so it is a, a simple machine that goes around a cylinder it has the ridges or threads the uh, what the spirals okay it has the ridges or threads that changes the direction of force applied the circular motion helps to move things upward and downwards example the cap of the bottle the base of the bulb these are the examples for the screw what is the difference between inclined plane and wedge inclined plane it has a flat surface with one end higher than the other so this is the definition for inclined plane what is that it is having the flat surface one end is higher than the other end then only the objects can move slide easily next wedge wedge is made up of two inclined planes together they have the sharper edge okay inclined plane it is used to push things up and down in wedge it is used to split an object into two next what is the difference between a simple machine and a complex machine simple machine it, it uses a single force to do the work but the complex machines uses the multiple forces to do the work so uh, simple machine is a single device and the complex machine is having the multiple device built in it uh, built in it okay the examples for simple machines are liver and pulley and the examples for complex machines are drill machine and clock what is a pulley how does it make our work easier a pulley is a simple machine made of a rope and a wheel it is useful for moving objects in hard to reach places like the rope car no you can travel on the rope car because of what because of the pulley arrangement where the force to be applied in a different direction i explained everything twice okay so just i am we are revising the exercises question number nine 
why is it easier to push a heavy bag up a ramp than carrying it up a staircase so it is easier to push a heavy objects up a ramp because its flat surface with one end higher than the other helps to carry the things easier than using the staircase so it is easier to push the heavy things through the inclined plane uh, like uh, ramp uh, instead of carrying them on the staircase this is the end of this today's class have a nice and pleasant morning boys have a great day